You're the best friend I've ever had, you know? Same to you, little bud. Oh. What? What's Ash doing here? <laughs> hey, sorry to ruin the moment, but what the hell is this place? Yeethaw. Ashley, you scared the crap out of us. I can see that. Let's get that rimshot audio. Good. Hey, man, am I glad to see you, Ash. I thought you, we were done for. I thought you had to watch Benjamin. My dad, my dad came home early, so I rode over here straight away on my horse. Sorry for giving you guys a scare. I eat ha. Huh? What in tarnation? Is that Mr. Packerton? Is he? It was him. He's gone now. He's finally at peace. Dang. And please don't tell me this is what's going on in the baloney. I hope not. I'm not sure. There's still one room we haven't looked in yet. We need to get in there before we leave. Oh, check this out. While we were hiding, I found the key ring under the dresser. Oh, dope. Hey, one of the keys has to open the bedroom. Let's check it out. Anything to get out of this room. Hi, right, let's go get the room. As long as we're not intercepted by Mrs. Packerton, that'd be great. Click, click, click. We're in. What? What in the goddamn? Wait. That Morse code table is going to be super important. Oh, are they sacrifices to some sort of deity? You don't need to do sacrifices like this. What in the? What in tarnation? I am speechless. Examine wall. This can't be good. Another damn combo lock. Oh, I mean that's. That's the Morse code right there. Didn't I just say the Morse code was gonna be important? I don't know if I did the intro, but let's do the intro now. Hello everyone, I'm Generic Waffle. Welcome back to Demon, Demon Face, I guess. All right, so deet dot dot dot, that's one. Did it deet dot deet doot did it deet, that's four. Deet dot dot, that's one again. Oh, it's just pie backwards. Human bodies, baby, let's see it. Yep, human bodies. I was right. It's people! We, we're in way over our heads here. We need to get help. <coughs> there are no bones. What? There aren't any bones in here. It's all just... MEAT! Dude, no. Come on. Ash is right. We should get help. Don't you see? There's no one who can help us. Every time something happens, it's covered up. The cult? Luke? Charlie? Mrs. Sanderson? Who knows what else this place is hidden? We can't trust the cops and we can't tell our parents because they'll just want to go to the police. They haven't believed anything we've told them about. Then what do we do? I don't know, man. Things just keep getting worse. Packardin's chopping up people and serving them too. I don't think I'll ever look at baloney the same again. I knew it! I knew it! I was right! Here is how I'm guessing the rest of this chapter plays out. We find out that she is dead. And that the lunch meat has been children. Oh, are we and are we done? Are we gonna go back to the phone news interview? Yeah, see? Well Well what? You asked why I don't eat bologna and I told you why. Of all the fantastical stories you'd like to spin, you're really not going to tell us what happened next? Why bother? You probably don't believe what I've set up to now anyway, and the story just gets more unbelievable from this point. Plus, you're probably going to cut it up and make me sound like a lunatic on TV. And give us the rest of the story and we'll air it in its entirety, without cuts, I promise you. I heard you mention Todd Morrison's name before we started. Did you visit him? They won't tell me anything here. Yes, we shot a segment on him yesterday. Is he okay? Is he still... in the hospital? What happened to Todd? I'll tell you what, you finish your baloney story and I'll tell you about Todd. Da, da, da. Before we left Mrs. Packerton's room, Ash noticed something else. Hey guys, come look at this. Oh, sh there's some kind of trash chute hiding behind this painting. That's weird, this building doesn't have trash chutes. It doesn't look like it goes outside. There's no light coming in. I super... 
Whatever's about to happen next is going to get Ash killed. Be careful, Ash. I wonder where it leads. Ash! Ash, are you okay? Ash! Oh no, oh no, this can't be happening. Please let her be okay. We have to find where this leads to. How are we? What are we? I'm gonna shimmy down. It's the only way. Dude, no, you're not thinking straight. What if you fall too, or land on her? If she's still alive, that could kill her. Yeah, you're right, let's think. Oh no. This is every other letter of some kind of code that I need to be getting, but I do not know what it's trying to say. Maybe what I'll do is I will replay this by with a guide to get the 100%. I know where it goes. What? How? Never mind. Just get Todd to meet me in the basement. Oh, is it the laundry chute? What's going on? Sal, what did you see? Is Ashley all right? Everything's gonna be okay. Come help me with this. Oh, it's behind the vending machine? Oh no, it's but I knew there was something about this door that was being hidden. No one has used this apartment in a long time. It's in rough shape, but Addison can't afford the renovations it needs, just like the fifth floor. Is this what you saw in your vision, Sal? It doesn't exactly work like that. It's more of a feeling of heightened intuition. All right, you lead the way. Larry and I will offer support however we can. It's locked. Wait, one of the keys from Packerton's looks like the old apartment keys. Try that out. Oh yeah, I almost forgot about those. What's in the biohazard box? Perfect. There's nothing in here. Give me a minute to look around. The carpet is torn here. It looks like, huh. Guys, come check this out. Dude. <laughs> there must be an undocumented sub-basement level. It's definitely not in any blueprints I've seen. Perhaps an old dirt cellar or something like that? I had no idea this was here. The third key from Mrs. Packerton's fits in this door. Ash must be down there. It's the only place that shoot could lead to. I don't, I, whatever's about to happen, I am gonna hate it. Let's go. I hate this. I hate this so much. This is... Yeah! Yeah, no sh- Larry! May our sight pierce the heavens, and our reach be infinite and everlasting. I don't know what that means. I'm gonna Google that phrase later, assuming it doesn't come up with this. Well, this looks bad. Incredible. The architecture must date back multiple centuries at least. Hey, Larry, how did you never fork know about this? Actually, better question, does Addison know about this? Addison must- Addison must know about this. Centuries of blood and demon worship? This is freaky as hell. Everything is coated in a thick layer of dust, which means the area is presently vacate and has been for a while. Yes, well, we're gonna screw it up. Let's hope the malevolent history of this place remains in the past. Yeah, well, we need to get through the gate somehow. There appears to be an absence of any obvious mechanisms to move the large gate. Yeah, you could just say, I don't see anything. Nerd. They must be built into the walls. It's likely that the apparatus from opening the gate is hidden. Is it the pentacle on the floor that we could rotate and maybe do that? We better split up and search the room. Examine. Whoop! <laughs> that zoom was really funny. <laughs> it was like, zoop! An old leather-bound book with symbols of the goat's head on the cover. This text is written in another language and the pages smell of rotten flesh. This book gives me an oddly strong sensation of Dejava. I just want Ash to be okay. It's a bit strange that a place like this has light bulbs. They must have been installed later on. Though this green bulb in particular is fascinating, I've never seen a bulb quite like it. How do you turn it on? That's another mystery. There are no visible switches. I've looked all around the area. Huh. Oh, hey, it's another one. The green light bulb. I see. Okay, well, so now I gotta install the other bulb and do the same thing to the other bulb, and now maybe I can open the thing. Light bulb. Oh, what have I done? Dude, those little obelisk thingies just got bigger. Oh, so they did. Scope it out. 
Larry's voice is killing me. Is it a rotating? Yeah, I figured as much. What about this one? Oh. Okay. There we go. Oop, that was an accident. I didn't mean to do it that quick, but here we go, I guess. Alright, that is some over-the-top garbage. Dude! What, are you trying to give me a heart attack? That scared the shit out of me. Sorry. I got the gate open for a second, but the switch won't stay on. Todd, can you stand on this? Larry and I will go find Ash while you make sure we don't get locked in. Sure, I can do that. Ready? No, but Ash is in there somewhere, so let's go. Be safe, you two. I don't want to lose anyone else down here. Yeah, look. look. I'm going to try my best to not die. Sound good? Looks like there are two ways. We better split up. Mm. I was afraid you were going to say that. Oh, am I Larry now? Why do these things always happen to me? I am Larry now! Dope! Alright, that's really cool. Crap, this place is like a maze. There's gotta be a way to be able to discern which one's which. Funky. Oh, did I mess it up again? I'm lost. I'm back where I started. All right, wait, 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 hold on. Okay, we're gonna do this combinatorically. In this first room, there are what, four doors? One, two, three, three doors. They wouldn't drop you in the middle of this. Okay, so I'm going to assume that no two rooms are the same. So I went through that door, and that door spat me out somewhere else originally than what it did. So three is the first option, is the first correct answer. Okay, interesting. I'm going to guess that if I hit none of the spikes, if there are no rooms with spikes in them, then I'm going the right way. Oh, hey, I did it. What? Oh, is this one of these? Got it! That was my, that was, I was quiet because that was my thinking brain. We were in thinky think land. We made it through the, uh, we made it through that strange little puzzle. It was a strange little puzzle that took a lot more time than I thought it was going to. Hey, it's Sal! Oh, I have to do it again? Weird. Okay, so now I gotta do it again with a different combination with Sal. Oh, hey, I did it. An old book with a wooden cover. There's a solid black circle carved into the front that's made from a different type of wood. The frail green pages are covered in painted symbols. I can't make any sense of it, but it leaves a bitter taste in my mouth. Weird. Oh, do I have to do another Stip Steppy puzzle? I do have to do another Stip Steppy puzzle. All right, let's just brute force this like I did last time. Oh, I did it. Hey, that was rad. I did it. Yeah, I had no strategy going into that. How did we end up back here? Hey, good timing. I think we have to pull these levers at the same time to open the gate. We must have walked around in a big circle. The room with the gate is at the center of the place. It's the last room. Ash has to be back there. Let's do it. Hey, look, it's a hexagonal thing. Hmm. Hey, I think this weird hex thing from Miss Packerton's desk is some kind of key. Hey, it worked. Oh. Whoa. This is wild. Holy Fortnite. And on that note, thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, tell your friends, tell your pets. And as always, with love, Generic Waffle.